make a wee thing. We are doing this together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So tell me, what are the biggest challenges you are facing right now? In Aspe? Yes. Well, the sustainability of a lot of adult education providers in our region, Mm. who are largely small NGOs, uh, over the last a uh, couple of years, over the decade, we have witnessed a withdrawal of the state in terms of support for adult education. Mm. So most of adult education provisioning, especially for the poorest communities, have actually been handled by NGOs. And with declining aid overall, um, NGOs have had very little funds as well to adapt to the situation. So. Um, it's been a problem uh, to sustain these adult education providers in the region. And I suppose uh, a related issue is that adult education has remained fringe. Uh, it, it gets very little priority by gov- governments and donors. Um, it's one of those invisible strategies which everyone assumes is important. But because it's too assumed as being there anyway, nobody gives it the attention it deserves. So it tends to fall between the cracks. So uh, we're trying to, as much as we can, demonstrate more forcefully, uh, give it more visibility of why adult education is important in well strengthening citizens' abilities to demand for what. Um, for their rights uh, to education and more broadly Um, and also for adult education to be high priority in budgeting in spending of governments and of donors but how can you do that when people are saying we don't have food on the table we don't have security out there so why why should we put any money on education it seems like a luxury thing well actually that's not what we hear from poor people of course they want food on the table Of course, they want uh, jobs, but they do have aspirations, especially for their children. And a lot of women uh, also see that education is a means towards them getting jobs, for instance, or providing better for their families, or it strengthens their position in terms of making sure their children have better education aspirations than they had. So. It's, it's actually a state of demand. Um, it's just that a lot of people tend to hear um, other things, other demands, more than education demands of people. Mm-hmm. Okay. But that education is mostly about children having the access. I didn't have a good life, but my children should get it. They should get primary and, and education. And the UN has agreed. I mean, education mm-hmm. is being put high mm-hmm. on the agenda. But it's often about kids, the new mm-hmm. generation. And mm-hmm. what we're dealing with is adults, which mm-hmm. should be given the same chance. And mm-hmm. And it seems people are giving up on themselves mm, at an mm, early stage. Mm, they say, okay, mm. I have this shitty life and I'll do this mm, thing mm, for mm. my children. Yeah. Well, so the challenge is really to, I think, part of the responsibility as well of adult educators is to, I suppose, um, inspire back a sense of self among mm. adults that they, they have the potential, they have the competencies that... Uh, they should be demanding for certain rights, um, that there are spaces that they can occupy if possibly collectively they come together of, or if they have additional skills which they can access or demand that they access. So it's that um, change in consciousness, I suppose. It's a mm-hmm. um, broader awareness about what they can aspire to even mm-hmm. under their conditions that mm-hmm. always has to accompany um, any education program. No, it can't be just about teaching them to read or write. It can't be just about teaching them a skill. In many instances, a lot of these skills will have to be located within a broader um, what, awareness raising, conscientizing, um, organizing mode uh, for it to have greater impact and for it to be sustained or for the skills to be actually used. Um, so. Naturally, adult educators in our region will therefore have to have this range of competencies. You can't just, it can't just be about your knowing how to teach a trade. It will also have to be about how do you, how do you mobilize a community or how do we bring groups together? Or how, how do you see that they apply this trade that they probably learned? Or, mm. 
skill that they've learned in the future. So you have the challenges of making adults understand that they should be entitled to a life and that uh, education can help them. You have the challenge of um, sensitizing and, and uh, helping teachers to get the additional skills needed to be able to work outside their, their own skill level or their own yes. particular trade. And then you have the enormous uphill struggle of governments not supporting all yeah, of this. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, <laughs> it yes. It seems like a tough task to me. Oh, it is. Um, but it's been done. It's, it's, it's no... There really... A lot of the... In this, a lot of the... What do you call it? The, the non-action around it um, stems from the myth that there's so much mystery about solving this problem. Mm. It really isn't so. Um, it's about selective perception, really. It's about selectively listening to what seems to be successful or not. Because there are several success stories. There, are, There's a lot of innovative work going on everywhere, which proves that it's not that costly. You know, it's, it's affordable. Uh, what is costly? How much is spent on maintaining a military machine or a military, how much, how much the governments invest in keeping borders supposedly secure from neighbors, if even just a fraction of that is spent on education or on adult education. Imagine the sea change in terms of perceptions of the other, in terms of peace, in terms of inspiring a different value system which is more open, more humanist. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes other governments just decide that they should spend on arms instead of on education. So, so it's not like it's impossible. It's not like there's such a great mystery to solving the problems of education. It's just making political choices. It's just making decisions one way or the other. And our task is to make demonstrate that or pressure uh, decisions in a more positive direction for education and social services which benefit the poor. So it's about visibility mm -hmm. to get the thing. How do you manage, how, how can you become more visible? Because as you said, we are the invisible, yeah. everybody assumes we're doing this yeah. job and yeah. if you're hung up and talking to politicians all the time, yeah. then you're not visible also. I yeah. mean, what, what is the role of visibility in the public life, in media, in, in, in the general consciousness? I think it's... I think there's a, there's, a, there's a broad awareness raising that has to be done. Um, it's getting the messages out there and more popular. Um, it's using the media um, to deliver those messages probably uh, and keep it in the public eye so that decision makers and citizens are aware of it constantly. It, it's about being in uh, decision making platforms, uh, lobbying, um, it's about mobilizing, it's about finding creative means to deliver these messages in popular forms, uh, getting... What are these popular forms? I've been thinking about that. Should we be making pop songs, soap operas and films and... Yes, concerts. Uh, imagine the... Just imagine G8, Live 8, how that dramatically... You know, one can argue about the outcomes in terms mm -hmm. of how much it actually influenced the G8. But it did put poverty on the agenda. It did dramatize the plight of African of Africans living in poverty and of Asians as well. Um, so why don't we do more of this for education? And um, there's a lot of goodwill, I think, uh, with a lot of among a lot of people in the richer countries, among so-called celebrities, which we could harness for these causes. Um, mm. But in a way, of course, that does not. Um, as you're saying, um, there are portrayals of poverty which are actually um, insulting or demeaning of the poor, and there are portrayals which are more real, which actually show people as struggling, as wanting to better their lives, and actively doing so. So in our search for forms to popularize our issues, we should be mindful of being respectful of these images of the poor or those we want to help as well. So.